Yeah. Oh, this is an update on them. Do you, so I covered that girl, right? There was a girl who basically snitched on her parents because they're Trump supporters and they decided to go to a protest and um, she used it as an opportunity to obviously further her own uh, personal profile and throw her parents under the bus. Just completely diabolical, disgusting behavior that I have no hesitation in calling out as being completely horrendous, isn't it, right? You should never, ever betray your family, especially to the media, right? Fair enough if you're a fan, one of your family member does something very heinous like third degree murder or something and you go straight to the police call but you shouldn't be sitting down with a backlit light talking to 60 minutes about the thing do you know what i mean have some dignity protect your family at all costs well there's an update on this right this is a little um, news report on the matter and i haven't watched it so i'm going to react to it in live uh in real time actually and see my reaction hopefully i don't get too angry because there's nothing that enrages me more than people that virtue signal in public and then little do you know behind them they're leaving a whole trail full of burning embers that was once their family in the background in a pursuit for glory from strangers they're never going to meet absolutely heinous but let's see what it says let's continue Imagine watching unrest playing out in Washington and seeing your mother right in the middle of it all. Well, that's what happened to this teenage girl who turned on her own mother by identifying her online. Honestly, if my child turned on me, like, you're dead. You're dead to, like, I could, like, I, I honestly could say, like, your kid, my kid gets accused of, like, you know, the biggest, the, the most heinous of crime. I could silently without telling anybody support them until the end of time right i'll always be there for them visit them in prison send them stuff put money on their books that's it right we've got a special bond but your kid turning on you like flip like fobbing you into the police and then going to the media about it as a parent it'll be difficult for me to ever forgive that kid again i'll still acknowledge you as my child but in terms of like us being buddy buddy that's never gonna happen legitimately never gonna happen there's nothing more heinous about it because there's a part of me that also thinks the reason why it annoys me most, because I think it's kind of indicative of the person sort of um, purposely, I won't say purposely, but it's, 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 it's an act, the action itself is that person denying their own truth, their own history, their own DNA, because the oddest fact of it is that if you look in a mirror, whatever parts that you find ugly in your parents, you'll most likely have them within yourself. So the fact that you're snitching on them is sort of your um, resistance and your your kind of reluctance to kind of come to grips with your own humanity and what part your parents have played in it. Because, you know, you all like to think, oh, no, I'm my own man, I'm my own woman, I can do my own thing. But mm, they've imparted a, a great deal in you, sometimes subconsciously. And when you when it comes when it sort of like hits each other and there's friction going on, especially if you're a teenager, right? There's no way any teenager is ever going to have the same political beliefs as their parents anyway, because usually the more older you get, the more conservative you become in your politics, even if you're more left leaning. So there's always that kind of you know there's always that friction butting heads. But just imagine, right? It's all well and good having some debates with your parents over the dinner table about political things that are happening or socioeconomic things, but fobbing them in to the to, to the feds and then talking to the press she told Stephen fabian how she wrestled with that decision this dramatic video is at the heart of a family <laughs> torn apart that by the way big up that police officer that's like that's some that's some Cl clarissa shield shit right that punch was swift and supposedly she broke her nose which you know probably isn't that hard because that lady's probably got a, you know her, her nose looked a bit gigantored and it, she probably hasn't been any sort of like physical altercation into her entire life so it was just ripe for a little cracking but if ever there was a more precise punch i've never seen one in my life that that was delicious and i think prior to this was also there was footage of you see her head cocking back there was footage of the woman trying to grab the police officer's phone multiple times or touch her and stuff and she kept ignoring her and then when she tried to jack her phone one last time she was like nah enough is enough and just punched her straight in the face i think uh, look at that let's just watch it one more time because that was beautiful this dramatic this and usually people like that right have never been punched in the face that's why it's even more gratifying they need to be reminded that there's consequences in the real world you don't just go around doing and saying what you want to people without any consequences video is at the heart of a family <laughs> torn apart by the strife that was a good nation. punch <laughs> a woman is punched in the face by a police officer after an intense <laughs> confrontation in washington dc i would actually prefer it more if more american police officers did that instead of arresting people like if somebody just got on your nerves and you're having an argument in the police in the stop somewhere or someone was being a bit of a dick or a cock to you there should be a there should be an opportunity for people just to like punch you in the face 
right? Like you just be allowed. Like do you like you get to choose? Do you want to stay in a slammer for a couple of days, or do you want to get punched in the face? You should have to choose one or the other. <laughs> the night before the Capitol siege. Jesus Christ. The video Christ. was posted online where it was seen by the bloodied woman's daughter. She was stunned to realize it was her mom because she had no idea her mother was in Washington to attend President Trump's Stop the Steal rally. What went through your mind when you realized, hey, that's mom? It was definitely very unsettling, especially because we do have very different views. So she's so not only did she fob her mum into the cops, she's also smiling on the inside that her mum got punched in the face. Is there a more despicable person? Right? There's been many occasions where I've been in arguments with my siblings, right? At home. And in the moment you step out it's been you know, it's come to close to blows. And the moment you step out of the house and somebody tries it with your sibling or with a family member, you step in you step in front of them all the time. You back the beef a hundred percent, even if you've got some real grievances with them and you actually detest that person in the in the inside at home. But you keep that stuff private behind closed doors. On the outside, you always show a united front. You never ever ever show any sort of um uh, disagreement or any sort of frictions in the camp on the outside you always keep it tight and locked and loaded and look at her she's gleefully smiling you could tell she's got a little smile in the corner of her mouth like she's happy that her mum got clocked in the face chin, nose broken in front of everybody in front of the entire world 18 year old helena duke of boston says she got so incensed she outed her mom with this text Hi, Mom. Remember the time you told me I shouldn't go to BLM protests because they could get violent? This you? Helene. Imagine sending that text to your mom first, right? Doofus. And then showing it to the public. That's that 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 this you dunk you see a lot on Twitter people dunking on people online like if you say if it's, if you if you if you say something hypocritical they kind of go back through your timeline they bring it back up again and say this you it's the sort of thing that's going on it's a bit of a sassy comeback I see people doing online so imagine doing that to your own mother though this you like what it's equivalent to those people that do pranks on their parents like have some have some self respect do you know what I mean leave your parents alone they've gone through enough. Don't prank them online for TikTok flipping um, attention. Helena says she also outed her aunt and uncle, who were also at the rally. Helena doesn't know if her family went to the Capitol where the mayhem unfolded, but she knows that her mom is furious with her and says she was kicked out of the house after attending a Black Lives Matter rally in Boston. Her mom sent her a message after the tweet. She told me that I was throwing away my life, that I was just... This my girl's life is insane, ruined, man. And that my sister's life is on my hands. We also spoke no to Ashanti God. Smith, a private security officer who threw the punch. She says the crowd surrounded her and called. Oh, she's not even a fed. She's just a, a, a private security officer. Big up to her then. That was a good punch. Called her the N word. They were calling me bees, saying that we all deserve to die. Um, hang. Jesus. Were you in fear for your safety, for your life in that moment? I was in fear for my life. They were trying to take my items. They were trying to take my mask off my face. They were hitting me and attacking me. Smith was charged with assault. She has been suspended from her job. She says she appreciates Helena Duke's support. She has reached out to me and her and her friend. This woman again, I big up the lady, but this, this security guard punches your mom. You then dunk on your mom in public, embarrassing her and yourself. And you then contact the the assaulter, the one that assaulted your mum, and you thank her for her job or you ask if she's okay. Have you ever seen a more dumb dumb in your entire life? Like, this is the kind of daughter that all men should be nervous and pray to whoever God that's up there to not have, right? Fair enough having, you know, it's all people, men out there can complain, oh, I'm scared about having a daughter and she might be a hoe or like, whatever, who cares? Women can do what they, if, if they're of age, she's free to do what she wants with her body. You obviously need to advise her in how to basically move out there in the streets and not be that much of a doofus. But for the most part, you know, you can, you have to just let them live their lives. But the one thing I think all men should be nervous about is, is ever breeding a young lady who's just a complete ditz. Because there's no turning back from that, it feels that. Like. Because usually, ditzy girls can meet a whole group of other ditzy girls who enforce the ditzy approach, and you basically lost her. There's no turning back from that. The one thing that you basically, the one thing that I would basically want for all my kids, forget it, male or female, is for them to be smart. 
for them to for them to have discernment for them to have critical thinking skills morals ethics forget if they're whatever sexual orientation they are if they like to sleep around who cares tattoos piercing who cares really life is short let them live their lives and enjoy it every way they please but the one thing you don't want is a dumb kid who wants a dumb kid a dumb kid that's going to call the cops on you a dumb kid that's going to go and contact the person that punched you in the face and tell them ask them if they're okay who wants that who wants that she felt that she was being threatened and she's smiling for her. this woman this girl is a psychopath mate this is this is pure crazy girl energy i know a lot of dudes are kind of into this sort of look but she is nuts legitimately nuts she uh retaliated and i don't think she did anything wrong <sighs> i don't know man this girl is an absolute psycho man you can just see in her eyes man you can see in her eyes that's that's the eyes of a psychopath girl like she's going to cause a lot she's going to cause a lot of men or women some trouble along the years along the way she definitely is man wow and then to make it even and if you thought that was worse if you thought that was bad right if well, no, hey, I, you're, you're, you're over i guess you know you're being a little bit too over critical it's just not that bad of a situation then look at this if matters weren't worse look at this go find me page help helena duke pay for college because obviously she's been kicked out of her own home right so she needs to pay for college because she doesn't have parental support she's been ostracized from her family so now she's pleading with you the public to basically put her through college she goes out there fobs in her own parents as for ideological reasons right which is completely ins insane considering that she's a teenager hasn't lived any sort of meaningful life in at all doesn't pay her own bills it's just about getting on her own feet and now she wants you to pay for her college and again, and imagine if, if that doesn't happen, right? If you don't pay for a college this way, what you end up? What do you think you end up doing? What's the easiest way to go and make money these days? Only fans. Perfect, isn't it? Perfect storm. Help Helena Duke pay for college. Um, as you know from my recent Twitter news sources, I have called out my mother for her actions. At the moment, I have no idea how I'll be paying for college as I have no financial support. <laughs> oh, the grift is strong. I have a dream of one day becoming a lawyer, but you, I need, uh, but I need help to get there. I help. I hope to attend college and then get into a peace corps. Eventually, I hope to enter into law school. I want to make the world a better place. I just need some help. Hope, help, hope, help, 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 hope, help. This woman is a complete nut job. Um, yeah, I guess the grift is strong. You, you just got to embrace who you have to embrace. Um, I don't know, man. I have no words, no words to describe how heinous um, this is and how bad it is. You know, like no words, man. No, no words. Jesus Christos. Look at that. Get in there. Hope to attend college. I want to make the world a better place. You hope. Like this... Um, it, it it is a it is a bit of a victim it is a bit of a consequence of being young this idea that you're somehow going to impact or change the world in any kind of meaningful way at that age right it's the naivety of the young um you know her own house is in disarray right um there's complete chaos in her own home in her own family yet she has this lofty idea of changing the world and being uh you know whatever changing the, the systems that govern it like you need to basically get your own home in order before you start doing that i would imagine and who wants to listen to an 18 year old anyway really and truly like who really wants to listen like youth is overrated in that regard it really is overrated no one really wants to listen to teenagers when it comes to serious issues i would imagine so especially when their own parents hate them do you know what i mean that probably says a lot more about your character than anything else but god damn it man what a piece of s-h-i-t